Made to Kansas City for Spray Seed Mo. Got a bunch of artists in the house. Got a whole lot of talented motherfuckers eating breakfast right now. Yeah. Yeah, we just rolled up to the mural wall. I guess the new development is we need to park my lift in the parking lot next to the building. So there's another set of owners that we have to get permission from. So we gave them the elevator pitch. How it's gonna make their building cooler and how it's gonna bring more people. And we'll see what happens. So, it's gonna happen. Yeah, fingers crossed that I get to keep my wall. Okay. So, do you feel like a little bit of maintenance? Can take it off a lot of garbage bags? The thing is disgusting. All right, we figured out all the logistics. It's been a wild day of running around, getting permission from the right people, talking to the right people, going to Home Depot, getting my spray paint, but now I'm here. I got my trusty sidewalk chalk and I am going to sketch out the mural concept. So I'm excited. So I'm just gonna get started. I got this massive boom lift behind me. I love using these things. I feel like freaking like a fighter pilot just moving myself around in space. So I put one tire on the mulch and it made a giant crater and, the, and we even filled that in a little bit. So I'm gonna have to get some sheets of plywood to lay on this mulch so that this machine can drive here. So I think I'm done for the day. Uh, I'm gonna try and figure this out tomorrow. How's it going, man? Good, homie. How's, How's the living? festival so far? And life's always gonna throw you curveballs, man. If you don't learn to hit them, you're gonna swing for the Mendoza line. I'm gonna just do my video like a reality TV show and just capture all the tr most dramatic moments. Oh, yeah. You know, they're like the Food Network sound effect. It's like, shh. And it's like, they use that so many times. What's your drama? What drama you got going on? Nothing, I just had this too. <laughs> you're, getting, you're getting cut from the video. You ain't got no drama. <laughs> that thing looks like it's gonna shoot me with like four bullets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Breathe deep. Spray C? <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Jack, you're so fucking good down there. Oh, thank you. Please. Yeah. So, a little update. Uh, my main wall that I was going to work on fell through. Well, it didn't really work out. There was that patch of mulch, and the lift is like officially 100% stuck in that soft earth that just sank into the ground. We'd laid down wood, we tried to do a bunch of stuff, but that location's not gonna work out. So now we're um, going to a new wall. Been kind of sitting around for a few hours trying to scrounge up walls. Jason and his wife Amy have been looking and looking, and I think we found one for me to paint. Smaller, more chill, but it's gonna be fun. My boy Kevin has been, even though he has a wall to paint, he's been helping me out all day long, which is like super rad. What's your last name, Kevin? Perkins. Do you have like an artist alias? Uh, Xmas Viper. Xmas, Xmas Viper, baby. <laughs> That's a cool name. Uh, so Kevin's been helping me. I'm gonna go over there. I don't know what I'm gonna paint now. I had a very sort of like sketched out meticulous plan for that other building, which was like more vertical than it was wide, but this one's like short and wide. So gonna figure it out. Gonna stare at the wall, see what happens. So drama in the KC, but it's all coming together. It's being solved. <laughs> <laughs> so much drama in the KC. That's right. So this is my new wall, smaller. Chiller. I'm gonna see what I wanna do here. Don't know what I'm gonna do yet. But yeah, gonna paint. Uh, I'm just working with like whatever paints I can get so this terracotta orange is not doing it for me for the background color So I have another gallon. It's sort of like a macaroni and cheese yellow I'm gonna try and mess with that and it's really it's really tough right now Like not having the supplies I need and switching walls at the last minute and I like to plan things out You know, I have this very meticulous concept art that's not gonna work anymore And it's a little bit frustrating It's a little bit like nerve-wracking and puts me in a vulnerable position as an artist So I'm just trying to figure out out what I'm gonna do, but we'll figure it out. All right, just keep on trucking. Super cool store I'm painting next to. What's up, man? Chillin'. Wanna check out some of these hats. Got my background color done and I'm gonna start sketching. Just gonna kind of wing it. Don't really have a plan. 
which is a little bit scary. This is where this is where the rubber meets the road. It's where you got to be an artist. My name's Chris Harrington. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri, and I run a local boutique here in town. It's called West Side Story. I think art is a oh, second language to a degree, as everybody says, and it's just universal. So having it around your businesses, having it around your area, it just helps traffic flow and kind of give some culture to the neighborhood on what was a white wall and now kind of has a message. And I don't know, I really dig that kind of stuff. So I'm happy to have it around. All right, it's day two of the mural. I went to the art supply store this morning, got some acrylics. Gonna do a mixed medium kind of thing of spray paint and acrylic on this wall. The size is just small enough to the point where I want my fine details to be done with a brush, but the color fills can be done with a spray can. I'm really, really happy that this area is in shadow because it's super hot today. Kansas City's awesome. Enjoying it, kind of zenned out this morning and got calm and tranquil and ready to paint, so. Today's gonna be the super work day. Figuring it out. likes on this video. Cause it's called 1000. Yeah, it's called 1000. Hold up. I'm a, 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 we're out here at the studio. We about to spit these bars, man. We're little kids. We're out here on the hood. Let's get it. <laughs> and he's painting right now? Yes. Final day, I've been working on this, freestyling it, just kind of making it work, having fun with it. It's looking pretty cool. Kansas City has been great. Thank you Spray Simo for having me. Riff Raff and his wife Amy put this whole thing together. It's a crazy cool festival. Lots of really cool artists. I've been so busy at my wall, I haven't been able to go around and shoot everybody else's stuff, but maybe I'll be able to finish early today and do some of that. It's been fun, Kansas City's rad. Been meeting a lot of cool people coming up to my wall and talking to me. Been meeting some some fans of my YouTube channel who came up and were like, dude, I watch all your videos, which is like so cool to me. Yeah, just gonna keep working. When the afternoon hits, I'm just cooking in the sun, so I'm just like a sun bleached, like kind of tired person right now. So trying to get my energy up, drinking some delicious coffee. Mmm. I'm gonna just keep vibing it out and try to finish up today and then back home to Seattle for the next one. And then Japan, yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna paint. Dude, the mural is incredibly tight. I think the message behind it, Dream So Big, is exactly what our generation's always trying to go after. And the color usage of everything's against a white wall just pops so hard. I think it's incredible. You killed it. <laughs> That's the end, I just finished. I'm feeling good. Thank you so much, Kansas City. Thanks, Spray Simo. Thanks, Riff Raff. Thanks, Amy. Thanks, everybody who volunteered and brought me water and brought me paints when I needed them. The support has been tremendous. Thanks, Redesign KC. This, bu this building that I'm painting on, their business is right in there. They've been like giving me coffee and like just gave me a mug and some coffee, like super rad. Uh, West Side Story, the little clothing shop. Chez L, the French restaurant, they've been giving me 
me lunch. Like this whole block just like came out and has been super supportive. It's super cool community. It's been like a super wonderful time. Thanks to all the other artists for being so inspirational and being so dope and making such cool art around me and like bringing art to this city. It's it's really really cool. Kansas City's dope. It's like it's a big city, but it's a small town at the same time, and it's a cool community. I like it a lot here. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, drop a like, leave a comment. I love it. You know, my YouTube channel is still small enough where I read all the comments and I try to reply to as many of them as I can and that I have time for. I really appreciate you guys following along, interacting with my channel, telling me your stories of how you make art. That's like all super awesome to me and makes me feel really good about what I'm putting out there and what you guys are giving me in return. It's pretty rad. If you wanna get some more behind the scenes exclusive content and some discounts on my merch and some special perks and some like behind the scenes goodness that you can't get anywhere else, you can check me out on Patreon and support me that way. That goes a long way and it's super helpful. Thank you so much to my patrons who support me. I'm gonna jump on a plane and head back to Seattle. Start on the next one and see you guys soon. Thank you so much. If you have the heart, throw a festival in your own town. You'll change the community. You'll change the way people perceive art. And if you dream it, you can do it as long as you put in the effort. Dream so big. Dream so big. <laughs> <laughs>